Well, hello there, fifth grade. We are very excited to be with you this morning so you can be face to face with the masters. You are gonna see 14 different paintings that were originally created by artists like Vincent Van Gogh, Pablo Picasso, Salvador Dali, and several others. Some of the art that you will see is realistic, some are abstract, and some are designed patterns and shapes. Thanks to your art teachers, Mrs. Riley and Miss Magro, you might recognize the paintings that you see today. What makes the art that you will be looking at extra special is that we have become the canvas. We have used face paint to reproduce works of art on our faces. High school students and my colleague, who you are about to meet, have spent their school day transforming themselves into a work of art to share with you. Before they introduce themselves to you, let me begin by introducing myself. I am the painting called Uneasy Center. I was painted by Bridget Riley in 1963. Bridget Riley is a British artist who is most well known for her optical illusion paintings, also known as op art. Bridget Riley is still alive today and creating art at the age of 89. When I'm not busy being an op art painting, I'm known as Miss Kick, one of the art teachers at the high school. Hello, I'm titled La Grande Famille, which means the large family. I was painted by French artist René Magritte in 1963. Magritte was a surrealist artist who lived from 1898 to 1967. While there are no people in this painting, it represents the intense emotions and the good and bad that families experience together. In the real world, I'm Mrs. Hargrove, the other art teacher at both the middle and high school. Hi, I am the painting called In the Beginning. I was cre created by Paul Clay in 1916, who was influenced by art that included expressionism, cubism, and surrealism. Paul Clay created over 9,000 works of art in his lifetime. When I'm not a painted canvas by Paul Clay, I am Sophia Kostantakis, a high school sophomore, and I went to Van Skyver. Hi, everybody. I'm Paul Clay's painting called Senecio. Mr. Clay painted me in 1922, almost 100 years ago, during the Cubism movement. He was inspired by African culture as well as his own humor. I currently live at the Kunstmuseum in Switzerland. In my less colorful form, my name is Sydney Farnham. I'm a high school senior at HT. I graduated fifth grade from Jennings. Hi, I'm Red Bridge and I was painted in 1928. I was also painted by Paul Clay, an artist born and raised in Switzerland. Paul Clay was known to use bright colors and small cube shapes to make larger paintings connect and come to life. When I'm not painted like a Red Bridge, I'm Megan Kosboon, a Haddon Township senior and a former Van Skyver student. Hi everyone, Yayoi Kusama is a Japanese artist who created me in 2002 by using the lithography printmaking process. She names me Flowers. My creator is a contemporary artist whose work is inspired by her dreams and imagination, where she often sees fields of polka dots. My real name is Maya Jacobson and I'm an HT senior that went to Van Skyver. Hello everyone, my name is Eyes Flying in the Sky. Just like my friend Flowers, I was also painted by Yayoi Kusama. She painted me in 2006. She used a variety of colors, eye shapes, and dots. Uh, her very signature style remains making all of her works instantly recognizable. When my eyes aren't watching you, my name is Maria Medina, and I'm a regular senior that goes to HT, and I also went to Van Skyver. Hi, I'm Fine Wynn and Clear Morning. I was created by Kachu Shiki Hokusai in 1832. Hokusai was a Japanese artist and printmaker. I'm the woodcut print, also known as Red Fuji that made Hokusai famous. His work transformed the art of printmaking to a much broader style that focused on landscapes, plants, and animals. When I'm not a Hokusai print, I'm Athena Konstantakis, a high school sophomore and a Van Skyver graduate. Hello, my name is The Persistence of Memory. I was made in 1931 by artist Salvador Domingo Felipe, famously known as Salvador Dali. He was a Spanish surrealist artist that paved the way for surrealist artists around the world. Salvador Dali started painting when he was six years old. 
Dolly created me based on his childhood home and landscape. When I'm not the persistence of memory, I go by Kate Bruno. I'm a junior in high school and I graduated from Edison. Hello, I am the guest house wall painted by David Hockney in 2000. David Hockney was born in 1937 and is still alive today. David is considered one of the most influential British artists of the 20th century. His first painting sold for about $100 and I am now worth $2 million. When I am not the guest house wall, my name is Angelina Parks and I am a senior at the high school who attended Van Skyver. Hi everyone. I am a girl before the mirror painted by Picasso. I was painted in 1932 during the Cubism period. I was based off a girl named Marie Therese Walter. I am filled with lots of colors. When I'm not a painting, I am Nindy Georges, a senior at HT. Hello, I'm one of the, I'm one of the 35 portraits that I, Vincent Van Gogh, ever painted. I'm, I'm believed to be the final self-portrait, painted in 1889. I painted myself so often because I couldn't afford many models for my paintings. I also painted nature scenes, flowers, and the beauty I saw in the world around me. When I'm not a self-portrait of Vincent van Gogh, my real name is Joey Miller. I'm a junior and graduated from Van Skyver. Hello, I'm Almond Blossom, painted by my friend Vincent van Gogh in 1890. Van Gogh is one of the most famous painters of all time, known for the Starry Night among many others. A fun fact about me is that I was originally created for Van Gogh's newborn nephew. When I'm not a Van Gogh painting, I'm Maeve Goldstein, a senior in an Edison graduate. Hi, I'm the painting Wheatfield with Crows. I was painted with oil paints by Vincent Van Gogh in 1890. Van Gogh is a well-known artist and his work is notable for its beauty, emotion, and color. Fun facts about my painter is that in less than 10 years, he created almost 900 paintings and he only sold one painting during his lifetime. My real name is Alex Konstantakis. I'm a sophomore and I went to Van Scabber Elementary School. I hope you all learned something about these famous artists today, but more importantly, enjoyed their wonderful masterpieces. And with that, we conclude our presentation of Face to Face with the Masters. We now invite you to, to turn on your cameras and share your faces too, and feel free to ask any questions. Did Why don't we start with um, Logan Smith? How long did it take to um, put the face paint on? Great question. Um, so we started at 7.45 in the morning and we just ended like maybe 30 minutes ago, 45 minutes ago, so. All right, we have, okay, I still, I'm not totally sure who student iPad is, but they've had their hand up. So you can unmute yourself and ask your question. Uh, so I'm Layla Rakowski. Thanks. And and so I have a question about how many years ago did all of these paintings were? Like, how long did these paintings take to make? The 14 paintings that we are today um, represent 132 years. So our oldest was painted in 1889. And our most recent, I believe, was 2006. Okay. When Glad I did that math. When was, <laughs> Hoku, when was the Hokusai done? Oh, see, th that math I did before we switched <laughs> that painting. So that could be actually even more than 132 years. Yeah. All right, next we have Lila Williams. These are really impressive. <laughs> Thank you. I could never. <laughs> Maybe you can when you get to high school and take art. You'll learn how to do things like this. That's right. Yeah, you definitely surprise yourself what you can do. Okay. Next we have um, Gannon Campbell. Um, what was your inspiration behind this? <laughs> Well, I, I'll field that question, Gamble. Um, 20 years ago, I had this crazy idea and students of mine at the high school um, agreed to do it. And since then, we've done whew, maybe five different painting sessions. We started doing it for Halloween. We would do it for like different arts events. We did a whole big Picasso um, project in 2006, but that was the last time 
And um, I was actually cleaning out my desk and I came across all of these pictures from like stacks from years and years and years ago. And I thought we can do this and we can do this remotely. And we've had so many things that have changed rules and we can't have more than this many people and we have to do this. And we um, wouldn't be able to have done it the way we used to, but we were able to do it in this format for you guys. So we're super excited about that. That was an interesting question. Thank you. Next. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, uh, Razmi Sokum. Razmi Sokum. My apologies. Razmi Sokum. Got it. It's fine. But how much money do these painting cost and all? Mm. Oh, the real paintings? Yes. <laughs> I thought you meant us. <laughs> um, <laughs> We're priceless. We are priceless. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Millions and millions and millions. I mean, just the, um, the um, guest house wall Angelina mentioned that she transformed herself into um, is over 2 million Van Gogh's or how, Kate, do you know how, how much the um, Dolly is worth? No, but I can, I'll search that real quick. Technology at our fingertips. Yeah. Lots and lots of money. So while Kate is searching, Mrs. Kelty has a question. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm one of Miss Kelty's students. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. What's your name, honey? Andrew McGraw. All right, Andrew, go for it. Well, okay. when was the cue bearer? Mm. The cubist, cubism? Yes. When yes. Was, you're, you're, you're talking about something that was in the early 20th century. So if you think about like the 1920s, that is um, w one of the times where it was very large and it was invented. Um, Picasso was one of the major artists to invent in that movement, although he created paintings over a 50 year span in many different styles, but that was one of his styles. Great question. All right, Jessica Kozak. Did everyone? Um, draw these by themselves on their face? Yep. When we did it years ago for the first time, um, we painted each other. Some people painted themselves, but under COVID conditions, we were isolated in our homes, united through Zoom and listening to 80s music and painting <laughs> ourselves. Yes. All right, Kevin Colwell. Um, how did you guys pick uh, who you were going to be? Go ahead, Kate. I just went off like inspiration from um, just years past if because I just love looking at art. So I was just thinking about, I don't know, something that would be fun. Um, and Salvador Dali is a surrealist, which means he does funky paintings. And I was like, wouldn't that be fun? So I think we all just kind of connected with different paintings and just went from there. We, we did have a suggestion list. People could pick artists that weren't on the list, but Miss Kick started a list and I added to it of artists whose work we thought would be particularly good for face painting. And then students looked at that list, found artists that they liked, and then looked for a specific painting to pick. All right. How about Dakota McNamer? It's McNemer, but um, did you enjoy making these? That one. Uh, yeah, we, we did. It was, it was a lot of fun. Um, I think just even being on Zoom with one another and just uh, you know getting to interact while doing this face paint was really fun. Um, but also, like many of us, have just not done this before, and that was definitely a very interesting process. Um, so yeah, we had a lot of fun. <laughs> I think with that too, we are all from different art classes. So some of us have Miss Kick, some of us have Miss Hargrove, but today we are all able to come together and do this together and interact with one another, interact. Like I have Miss Kick, so I got to talk to Mrs. Hargrove a little bit. So it was fun to do it all together. How about Brianna? When you did you first 
practice drawing this on paper for a while, then draw on your faces, or did you practice drawing on it, on your faces? Um, well, I think that's what part of what made it so fun is it was kind of an experiment. The first time we did this on our faces, well, except for Miss Kick, who's very experienced with <laughs> painting her face. All of us, this was our first time doing it. So it was kind of fun to just experiment and see what we could do. I know I had to start over a couple of times, but it was fun. So. I, I think people approached it in different ways. Some people sketched it out. Some people, everybody had a printout that we flipped to the opposite so that when we paint it on our faces, it looks in the right direction to you. Um, some, some people took their iPads. Ah, sorry, I have a thing that we did here. And in, I don't know if you can see that, in Snapseed, we um, double exposed and put our paintings over our faces so we'd have an idea. I think my photos are switching around um, when I move my thing, but so we'd have an idea of what part of our painting would be on what part of our face. Wow. How about Maeve? Um, how long did it take to plan everything out? I had a conversation with Mrs. Derisi back in, when was this? This was November, I believe. And then I reached out to Mrs. Menig so she could run the whole Zoom. And that was right before Thanksgiving. And we pitched it to the high school students right before winter break. <laughs> so it's been several months in the making. So that's a great question. How about um, Danny McElvain? That's the first time somebody has ever got my last name right. Um, thank you. And um, <clears throat> did you guys write these down? The uh, what you said down when um, when you guys said it, or like did you did you guys write these down um, your own on your own or not? Yeah, we, we did. We uh, we were kind of giving Miss Kick kind of let's have a little bit of freedom with it, just a little bit of fun. Uh, we did double check with one another. The like, I know there were like three Van Goghs, so we made sure not to repeat any of the same facts. Um, but we were told, you know, write a just a brief summary of the painting and the artist behind the painting, and then you know there were some bits I'm sure that ended up being improvised at the, in the end. But for the most part, yes, we had everything written down. Um, Izzy, do you have a question? What did you use to paint on the faces? Yeah. Yes, you do not want to do this with any just ordinary paint, no like poster paint or anything like that. We used a high quality theatrical face paint um, and the brand of that is called Maron. So um, I don't know how I discovered that 20 years ago when we started, but it is, um, it's real nice because, you know, it's not waxy or sticky like some of the paint that you would get if you went to like a fair to get your face painted, so. So Mrs. Kick, how do you get it off your face? <laughs> well, each of the students have been provided with a pack of like face wipes. Um, it'll probably take all of them to get <laughs> most of it off. And then they'll use paper towels with a little bit of soap and then we're just gonna shower and it'll go away. All righty. Mm -hmm. I actually have, um, I was able to get the slideshow built. Oh, oh yeah, do you wanna share that? Yeah, this, this I think will sort of give you pictures, everybody, to some of the questions that you asked and some of the other questions that you might not have asked yet could be answered with this. So I'm gonna share my screen. So when Mrs. Hargrove described the layering of the uh, image, this really depicts that nicely. So you can see she's got a paper plate palette assortment of brushes um, and a mirror. And she has her image trans like sort of overlaid over top of her face so that she could see where she wanted to paint it when she put it on, you know, on her skin. We also drew it on. So this is our red bridge, Megan Kasaboon. You can see that she just drew it on the same way you would sketch anything out on paper and then paint inside those shapes. So it's a good guideline to start. And this one I just had to put because it's so freaky because Maria's eyes are closed, but the eyes are there. So, ah, Joey. Now that would be Van Gogh today if he had, you know, modern technology. <laughs> 
taking a selfie instead of doing all of those portraits. And this is a workstation. So this is um, Maya. She was the Yayoi Kusama. Um, but here we are engaged in Zoom. And this is her workstation. You can tell she's an artist. This was not all the mess that was created today, but <laughs> she's got lots of history of other creative endeavors. And that's me in a way that you're not seeing me. And there's Kate, who is undoubtedly a makeup professional right there. Oh, and Maeve sideways, giving us the peace sign. So I think we still have like maybe a minute or two for uh, any additional questions. Why don't we have, let's see, um, Lex. Uh, yeah. Um, were you guys, were you guys tired when you had to do like, uh, your makeup early? <laughs> That's a regular school day. Yeah, yeah. I'm tired during school anyway. So, you know, <laughs> um, but today I didn't have to go to class. So honestly, I was pretty much less tired <laughs> than, uh, regular school. Inspired. All right, we'll do just a couple more. Nora, do you have a question? Did, um, like theater and acting styles like Peking Opera and Kabuki Theater inspire the face paint? <laughs> it did not, but that's an interesting question because when Maria, our Yayoi Kusama started, her whole face was painted all white and then all of her detail work and her eyes and everything came on top of it. So at first she had that kind of kabuki theater type of thing going on. That was a great mm -hmm. question. Yeah. All right, Jamie, do you want to ask a question? Yeah, because as you know, you, how are you were using mirrors, right? Of course, you know, but um, you would have to basically do the opposite of what you're seeing in the mirror without like doing it technically the wrong, like the wrong way. And that, and, like, how did you not like get confused on like which way to, to <laughs> put on what of, uh, point on your face? That's just my question. I mean. That makes sense. Um, yeah, so you're right. It would be very confusing if we weren't given what Miss Kick and Miss Hargrove gave us, which was a flipped image. So it was easy for us to just look down at the picture and paint because it was, you were painting exactly what you saw instead of the reverse. So uh, they went out of their way to make sure that was easier for us. So that was good. Oh yeah, if you, if you can see, like I happen to have a, I don't know, I can't see myself, so I don't know if, but do you see I have two images here? One is their original way, but then we took everybody's and flipped it to the opposite. So then when we painted in the mirror, what you see is in the right direction. It looks like Mrs. Birdwell might have a question. So why don't we wind up with Mrs. Birdwell? I do. What a phenomenal job, boys and girls. I'm, I'm so proud to see all of you from Van Skyver and, and everybody who participated did such an amazing job. Joey Miller, I sent you an email. I'm in the process of responding to you. Okay, I, I'd, li I'd like I'd like I'd like to feature you guys on our news station here at Van Skyver. This is so amazing. I would love to share it with the rest of our building if that's possible. But great job. Thank you for sharing. And Mrs. Birdwell, I did record this so I can post it up to the cloud and then, you know, and we can go from there. And I also took a few screenshots too, if you want. Yeah, I, I got the screenshots. I just think that this is this this needs to be shared a little bit wider. This awesome. is so so great. Good job. I agree. All right. Mrs. Kick and Mrs. Hargrove, thank you so much for this utterly amazing experience. And I want to take a minute to thank all of our high school art students because you, you guys did an amazing job. And as Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Birthwell was saying, it's so cool to see all these folks from Edison and Jennings and, and Van Skyver and all of these different schools, you know, now over, now over at the high school. But thank you so much for all your hard work and for everything that you shared today. And we'll make sure that this um, recording uh, gets seen because you guys did a phenomenal job.